even though he called me Edo, that's my English name. Mm. But my native or local name is Kofi. Kofi. K O F I. Uh -huh. Because I was born on a Friday. Oh, Friday. Friday. So, and this is a memorial for the first president of Ghana. Okay. He is called Kwame in Chroma. Kwame. Kwame in Chroma. And he's also called Kwame because he was born on a Saturday. Okay. Um, you will get to find out in the course of your visit that, especially in the southern part of Ghana, the day on which you are born is part of your name. Okay. So we have for both sexes. For both boys and girls, we all have a name. So, the particular significance of those grounds to the history of Ghana is that during our colonial era, the British were using here as a field for playing the sports polo. So, it was called the old polo grounds, meant for only British, natives, or locals were not allowed to come here. And at best, those who were able to come were those who were supposed to work and not to have enjoy in, in what, what was going on here. So eventually, when it was due for us to get independence, symbolically and also to kind of spite the British, Kwame Nkrumah chose the same place to deliver his independence speech. So that's the importance of this memorial to the history of Ghana. And as, as part of our tour of the memorial, we are going to visit about three different sections of the facility. We have his statue and other ones right ahead of us over there. There's also a mausoleum where his final remains have now been interred. Now we also go to the museum, have a look around. And in the course of the tour, we are allowed to ask as many questions as we may have. And today is a very special day for all African countries. We call it the African Union Day. So we can ask all our questions. We are also allowed to take photographs, okay. except in the museum. That is not allowed. But anywhere on the grounds, we are free to take our pictures. Now, we would observe that there are a lot of trees on this park. Some of them were planted by very prominent personalities who are visited here on different occasions. So this shady one, for example, we are under, was planted by the first president of Namibia. <coughs> He's called Sam Dijoma. This was planted in 1992. The first to be planted by any prominent foreign personality was the former president of South Africa, that is Nelson Mandela. Ghana was one of the first countries he visited after his release from jail because of the role we played in the fight against apartheid. There's one by the former president of Zimbabwe, that is Robert Mugabe. Um, there's one by Reverend Jesse Jackson, who was here in 2007. We have one by the former Angolan president, he's called Dos Santos. There's one by the former leader of Kenya. He's called President Kibaki. One by the former president of um, Cote d'Ivoire. Mm -hmm. And other <laughs> leaders who have visited this facility. So, we are welcome. And let's start the proper discussion around his statue. So, let's come to some. Okay. I have a it's a laurel, but it's not edible. Oh, okay. It's a tree. What kind of tree is it? It's, 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 it's called Alex okay. Alexandra laurel. laurel. But it's not edible. The fruits are not edible. Um, so, how was this day chosen? <laughs> How was this day chosen as African Liberation Day? Oh, what's the, what's the background why, there? That is when the African Union mm -hmm. was formed in 1965. Oh, okay. The of in Ethiopia, okay. Addis Ababa. Uh oh. I also have to watch out for the videograph. So, family, this is it. This is the memorial of a true legend. And this is the Marcus Garvey imprint straight from Jamaica to Ghana, the Black Star. <laughs> Nobody did it better than Marcus Garvey, family, and we're here to continue the legacy and the revolution.
Mr. Bomani, how you feeling? You're rocking on in your red, black, and green. <laughs> Mr. Bomani is in Ghana for the sixth time, and you're only eight, boy. Six time in Ghana, once in Togo and once in Benin. You're a true international traveler, man. So family, here we come, the statue of the true legend, Kwame Nkrumah. Yeah. Absolutely, Sister Sass, we do the group shot, my sister. Yeah, we have We're going to hold it down and represent. Yeah. Forward ever, backwards never. Absolutely. <laughs> Forward ever, 